academic, non-fiction, elementary. Hayao Miyazaki was born in Tokyo, Japan on January 5, 1941. His father, Katsuji Miyazaki, was the director of Miyazaki Airplane Company. The war caused Miyazaki and his family to evacuate. The bombings and the war affected him deeply. He and his mom were often sick. Miyazaki spent a lot of time reading manga or Japanese comics and drawings. He wanted to become a manga artist and his interest in animation grew after watching Panda and the Magic Serpent. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind was a great success and the film brought attention to Miyazaki. The film is about a brave princess, Nausicaa, who tries to prevent two nations from war and to restore harmony between humans, insects, and nature. Since we read the book Lion Lights, let's go inside and learn more about lions. We are here at the lion exhibit at the San Diego Zoo. Many African countries prevent the lions from being hunted. Wildlife conservationists are concerned about the lion population. The zoo will help to protect them. Let us meet co-author Shelley Paula of the book Lion Lights. She is amazing. How did the invention of lion bites help wildlife conservation? Actually, lion lights, besides saving the lions or the cows in Richard's farm, and it's very effective and successful. However, his invention is now being used around the world, saving other endangered species. During the American Industrial Revolution, child labor was legal in the United States. Many children were brought into child labor. In the Newsies case, they were mainly homeless kids or foster kids who were trying to make a living. Everyone at the time relied on newsboys for the news. Print media was the only way of knowing what was going on. The newsboys would buy 100 papers for 50 cents and sell them at a cent each, hoping to make a profit. The two newspaper tycoons at the time William Randolph Hearst and Joseph Pulitzer, who were already the richest men in the country, only sought to get richer. They charged the newsboys 60 cents for a bundle of 100 papers, as opposed to the 50 cents. It was a huge jump in price. That's when they really got furious and started a union. Later, the newsboys decided that their best option was to strike. The newspaper tycoons apparently seemed generous enough to still obtain the 60 cent price, but they could return their papers for a full refund. But it helped all children brought into child labor throughout the country. Children ranging from cotton mill workers to coal miners were striking. And the winner is Hayao Miyazaki, the master of Japanese animation.
academic, fiction, elementary. The academic fiction category brings us projects with talking animals, dogs chasing cats, and ghosts. In the first finalist, we learn about guinea pigs from the horse's mouth, so to speak. In the second, a mysterious Yoda-like figure enlightens a bully. And the third, an animation shows us what would happen if a dog actually caught the cat it was chasing. This is Kara Chilcott reporting live from the home of the world's cutest guinea pigs. And today, I have been given exclusive access to interview and tour their home. So, my first question is, what do you guys do all day? Well, we like to eat, to explore our cage, take naps, drink water. We need exercise. Not that kind of exercising, but mostly we like to eat. So, S'mores, besides talking, of course, what other noises do you make? Well, we make noises like this. And we also make noises like this. Fail to change in this form, you shall remain for all the time you will complain. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, you're always so mean. <laughs> you should be sticking up her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ari. I'm sorry for being just such a jerk bomb to you. I'm sorry for hurting you and making you cry. Can I take you to the nurse? Sure. A valuable lesson you have learned, true friendship and love you have earned. Yeah, it was kind of good to be nice. And here comes one now. Oh my gosh, I've never been this close to a dog before. time. What works every time? Chasing cats. We dogs don't want to hurt you. Chasing cats is just fun. Oh, I thought it was like cats and mice. We chase the mouse, catch it, and eat it. What? Why would I eat you? You're much too big. Plus, it don't taste good. Hey, don't you think that having a friend to play with is way more fun than chasing cats? You're right. It is way more fun. Friends, friends. And the winner is Dog Plus Cat from Parkdale Elementary.
I'm Charlotte Wilson, filmmaker of Dog Plus Cat. Thank you to the California Student Media Festival judges for this honor. Congratulations to my fellow nominees. It was fun to watch your videos. I want to thank Ms. Laura and Mr. Willard for teaching me how to play cello. Special thanks to Ms. Holkin and Ms. Schenheisen for all the help you gave me in Tone Guild. And finally, thank you to my friends and family for your support. Special Awards When we think of the performing arts, we sometimes forget that there is a team behind the curtain that brings it to an audience. This project reminds us of that and also reminds us that young students can take on very serious responsibilities. The award for the performing arts goes to Behind the Curtain. My name is Kenneth Yin. I am in fourth grade, and I have the role of the assistant director in the drama club after school play. My duties are to make sure everybody's on task, answer questions if the actors have any. And I am the head of the drama club. Woo! And I have some bomb drama students and we're doing a play production called Munchkin Mediation. It's about conflict and resolution. How we get along and resolve our differences with some fun in between. <laughs> some music and some dance and some laughs. That's it. <laughs> I also have to like make sure everybody's doing the right thing. Like it's with on task. I have seen so much growth in and confidence. They're gonna be amazing and work so hard. Special Award. You need to learn how to fly, Juan. Can't you just be me? It's normal to be scared, but you have to learn to believe in yourself. But, but what if I fall and get hurt? Hey there, little bird. You look pretty yummy. According to legend about the Lunar New Year, a long time ago, there once was a big scary beast named Nan, whose name means year in Chinese. On the gloomiest night every year, when the new moon was in the sky, Nan would break into the village and scare everyone. A very wise man taught them Nan was afraid of loud noises, fire, and the color red. People started to protect themselves against Nan. 
They hit their drums loudly. They lit fireworks and firecrackers. And they wore red from head to toe and decorated everything with the color red. Today, there are many ways to celebrate and to share good fortune with others during Lunar New Year. Adults give children lucky red envelopes or hongba. There are bright fireworks which light up the sky and huge New Year parades with loud firecrackers. On the 15th day of the New Year, also called the Yula and Turn Festival, thousands of red lanterns glow in the night sky. How will you celebrate the Lunar New Year this year? Aesthetic Fiction, Elementary Rain, Thunder, Lightning, Hay My paws skitter across the slippery, wet ground Every single hair on my body is covered with cold rain droplets as I run as fast as my legs will carry me. Squirrels shriek in laughter at me as I walk past them. I let out a small whimper of sadness. The next thing I know, I'm trapped in a dark bag and thrown in a truck. Welcome to the shelter, pup. A kind man slips a leash on me and opens the cage. The man's daughter gently whispers something in my ear. Don't worry, Russell. You have found your forever home. It's right here. I am beyond happy. Jack, 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 take your headphones off. Did you do your homework yet? Ah, uh, no. You have a big book report due on Friday. When are you going to start getting ready for that? I'll do it later. Jack, get off. You... Jack, get, get off the computer. Jack, listen to me. Get off the computer and get ready for school. Do a classic. You have to do your homework. When I come back, you better have your homework done. Oh. I wish I was the last kid on earth. What's this? Email? Would you like to go to paradise? Uh, yeah. As I expected, it's another boy. <laughs>
rain, thunder, lightning, hay. My paws skitter across the slippery, wet ground. Every single hair on my body is covered with cold rain droplets. As I run as fast as my legs will carry me, squirrels shriek in laughter at me as I walk past them. I let out a small whimper of sadness. The next thing I know, I'm trapped in a dark bag and thrown in a truck. Welcome to the shelter, pup. A kind man slips a leash on me and opens the cage. The man's daughter gently whispers something in my ear. Don't worry, Russell. You have found your forever home. It's right here. I am beyond happy. Rain, thunder, lightning, hail. My paws skitter across the slippery, wet ground. Every single hair on my body is covered with cold rain droplets. As I run as fast as my legs will carry me, scroll. Sh Hello, I am Virginia Pace. And I'm Eleanor Stewart. First, we would like to thank the California Student Media Festival for recognizing our film. Next, we would like to thank our teacher mentors at El Camino Creek Elementary, Miss Jennifer Smith, Mr. Hanfel, and Miss Oberman for their support and encouragement. Our fourth grade teacher, Miss Cohen, helps us build our strengths in writing and drawing. Thank you, Miss Cohen. Finally, we want to thank our parents and dogs for motivating and inspiring us. Thank you! Special Award. Mr. C is selling our steam equipment. Why don't we just use it against him? Yeah! Stand back, everyone. The robots got this. See all the ways following the leader and me guideline can really help people succeed. How did you like it? Well, I thought the twins were a little too addicted to sugar. They are just actors. I'm sure they aren't like that in real life. Yeah, yeah right. During the American Industrial Revolution, child labor was legal in the United States. Many children were brought into child labor. In the Newsies case, they were mainly homeless kids or foster kids who were trying to make a living. Everyone at the time relied on newsboys for the news. Print media was the only way of knowing what was going on. The newsboys would buy 100 papers for 50 cents and sell them at a cent each, hoping to make a profit. The two newspaper tycoons at the time William Randolph Hearst and Joseph Pulitzer, who were already the richest men in the country, only sought to get richer. They charged the newsboys 60 cents for a bundle of 100 papers, as opposed to the 50 cents. It was a huge jump in price. That's when they really got furious and started a union. Later, the newsboys decided that their best option was to strike. The newspaper tycoons apparently seemed generous enough to still obtain the 60 cent price, but they could return their papers for a full refund. But it helped all children brought into child labor throughout the country. 
Children ranging from cotton mill workers to coal miners were striking. Aesthetic Nonfiction, Elementary. Butterflies are beautiful pollinating invertebrates. They eat plants and live about six to eight months. Monarch butterflies in North America migrate to the south because they can't survive cold northern winters. Some even travel 3,000 miles. They spend the winter in Mexican forests or California coasts. When they travel back to the north in the spring, they feed on nectar and lay eggs on milkweed before they die. Each migration is a new generation. In the overwintering sites, monarch butterflies need it to reach a certain temperature to know when to migrate back north. Since the earth is becoming warmer, it's no longer getting to the temperature they need, so the butterflies aren't getting their cue to travel back to the north. This could disrupt their survival and reproduction. I believe that if we all volunteer to plant milkweed and stop using pesticides, it will benefit monarch butterflies. To conclude, if we slow down climate change by consuming less fossil fuel, it will not only save monarch butterflies, it will save many other organisms, including humans. How did you get the idea of a dog petting robot? Well, back in 8th grade, I was sitting with my family one night watching Shark Tank, and I was like, I always, I always want to be in Shark Tank. And my mom had told me, write a business plan for something. And I went around my house looking for things that I can improve, things around my life that I thought could be better. And I noticed my dog, and I noticed how sad she was always when, you know, when you leave your dogs, their concept of time is a lot different from ours. And so I wanted something that can keep my dog happy and you know feel like she was with someone while we were away so this is a device it drops a treat from its belly and about 30 seconds later it starts petting the dog back and forth with the curling motion of the fingers to kind of simulate a true scratch it functions as a human hand how did kids like me get started on an invention it starts with having the knowledge and creativity to find things in your life that you'd like to see improved small and weak wait a while and you'll find your inner strength or do you like being small and don't want to grow up wait a while and you might discover a whole new world. Do you feel lost? Like you're going through phases? Hmm. Wait a while. <clears throat> and you'll find your true self. And the award goes to Metamorphosis from El Camino Creek. Congratulations.
Special Award, Emerging Technology. The Emerging Technology Award was created to acknowledge teachers and students that bring into the curriculum old or new technologies that tell stories with tools that many adults did not see in their school. In this category, there were two finalists, Ben Noble's 3D Prints and Leone's Intuit Tribe in Minecraft. Both show determination and hard work, making it hard for the judges. The winning project is a product of research, realism, and time. This is the Inuit. Their Inuit houses are covered in snow and ice. They have a, they have a, their real name is uh, Ikuvak, which is just a igloo covered in snow and ice. Inside, it has all the resources they need, a bed, a chest, a, a like a gathering place, which is basically a basket where they can put their food, a tub with water, and clothes so when you go outside the clothes are made of animal skin and animal skin keep themselves warm keep themselves warm so if you go outside it'll protect you from the cold their their houses on the top they are made of snow so they protect it how they made how the inuit made their igloos is they actually used a saw and cut out of the um out of the snow to get the blocks to put it on Special Awards Animation is an art that tells a story without sets, without live actors, but with really painstaking work. That's why there's a special award for animation. The winner this year for fun used 2D animations, screaming, and wild special effects to tell what happens when a bored student gets physically dragged into his homework. Let's take another look at the award winner for animation, Homework in a Nutshell, from Hermosa Drive Elementary. As I expected, it's another boring <laughs> Special effects can add amazing elements to projects. These can be green screens, animations, digital manipulations, and more. These can be sometimes be used for humor. Let's see a little more from this year's winner for special effects, The Guinea Report. A guinea pig's lifespan is five to eight years. But if they're living a pampered lifestyle, it's 10 to 15 years. Wow, I've asked you a lot of questions. I've only got a few more for your sister, Sammy. Wait, where is Sammy? Sammy's missing! Sammy missing? Call the butler! Sammy, where are you? Sammy? Sammy?
Oh, we forgot to tell you. Special Award The effect our carbon footprint has on the planet is immense. And some of the sprays you'd use to keep bugs off your plants will end up killing all of your plants. And this one's huge. All that plastic in the ocean, they create mountains and islands of plastic. And even clothes with tiny baby microplastics that all get extracted in washing machines. These microplastics pollute and get into your sewage, killing a lot of wildlife. We keep running from our problems, but when we do something about them, our problems will start to shrink. The real problem is all the plastic bottles. They can be so convenient, but once they pile up, they're worse than the problem you had in the first place. Have you heard of a place where seals are rescued? Where? Really? Marine Mammal Care Center or MMCC. Wow! So rescuing actually begins with, 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 with you. Uh, it begins with people recognizing the signs and symptoms when they're on the beach. They call 1-800-39-WHALE and, and that sends the rescuers on over and they evaluate the situation. Um, and then if the animal really does need to be rescued, uh, then we'll go ahead and use like all this equipment. We have special nets that we use. Um, and then once we have the animal, we'll um, put it in our little, um, a little transport um, cargo device. <laughs> and then we uh, drive it down to the Marine Mammal Care Center where they're gonna get the rehabilitation part. Give seals another chance to chill. Thank you, see you later. Best wishes and fishes. Keep it real like a seal. Special Award, Media and Information Literacy, Elementary. This speech symbolizes the discrimination and abuse African-American people faced in the 1950s. Another person who had to endure this was Henrietta Lacks. This is her story. When Henrietta felt a lump in her cervix, she went to the John Hopkins Hospital to check it out. Because no one saw black patients except for the doctors at Hopkins. The John Hopkins Hospital had a practice to share any cancer tissues with their head researcher, Dr. Guy. George Guy began to send Gila all over the world. They were one of the most important things that happened to medicine, probably in the last hundred years. They were used to develop the polio vaccine. They went up in the first space missions. The number of scientific landmarks that can be traced back to this one woman's cells just goes on and on. Some people, like Henrietta's family, were not as fortunate. And to this day, her kids can't afford health insurance, they can't go to the doctor, and they often say, you know, if our mother was so important to medicine, why can't we get any? With that, what is Henrietta's lasting legacy? Special Award, Global Awareness.
The Global Oneness Project believes in the power of stories. It funded this award to seed stories that bring world cultures alive in the classroom, showing empathy, resilience, and a deep relationship to our planet. To achieve these goals, the award winner used technology, research, and wise advice. The award goes to the project titled appropriately, Global Oneness. As we all know, the world is becoming more connected than ever before. People from different parts of the world can communicate and interact with each other more easily than ever before. However, this doesn't mean that we always understand each other. It's important to remember that while we may be different, we all share common goals and desires. We can learn about different cultures and traditions. We can learn about different religions, languages, customs, and beliefs. This can help us understand why people from different cultures may think, feel, and act differently from us. These are just some more ideas for finding new ways to understand each other and inspire a global perspective. Thanks for watching, and I hope these ideas have inspired you to explore and learn more about the world around you. Remember, every action we take, no matter how small, can make a difference. Let's work together to build a brighter future for all of us. Grand Prize, Academic, Elementary. Hayao Miyazaki was born in Tokyo, Japan on January 5, 1941. His father, Katsuji Miyazaki, was the director of Miyazaki Airplane Company. The war caused Miyazaki and his family to evacuate. The bombings and the war affected him deeply. He and his mom were often sick. Miyazaki spent a lot of time reading manga or Japanese comics and drawings. He wanted to become a manga artist and his interest in animation grew after watching Panda and the Magic Serpent. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind was a great success and the film brought attention to Miyazaki. The film is about a brave princess, Nausicaa, who tries to prevent two nations from war and to restore harmony between humans, insects, and nature. Grand Prize Awards Do you feel small and weak? Wait a while. And you'll find your inner strength. Or do you like being small and don't want to grow up? Wait a while. And you might discover a whole new world. Do you feel lost? Like you're going through phases? Hmm. Wait a while. <clears throat> and you'll find your true self. 